各位好，欢迎收看本期的《天天话题之健康专栏》。在今天的节目当中呢，我们为你邀请到的是 s o u t h s i d e 生物制药集团的总裁 k i r s t e n 先生。Mr. k i r s t e n thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So we're going to be talking about、um, cancer treatment and your company. And I know that you start out 20, 30 years ago, and you are one of the youngest biotech CEOs. Tell us about、uh, s o u t h s i d e Well, I'm still mentally one of the youngest. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm kept alive and young by the idea of actually trying to cure cancer.、Mm -hmm. See, drug development is usually for patients who have failed surgery and radiation and chemotherapy.、Mm -hmm. Those are the only medicines given with the intent to cure. Some people will be cured and some will not be cured, but it's intent to cure. Right. All the new medicines you read about, k t r u d a Optivo, CAR T, they come. Afterwards, and they don't save people.、Mm -hmm. They give them extra time. We need to do better. Surgery, radiation, and chemo have been around for decades, and we have not improved them.、Mm -hmm. We believe the immune system is the key. The immune system before surgery, radiation, chemo. If that works, we cure more people.、Mm -hmm. In terms of the、uh, immune system, I know a lot of people, even including myself. You know, we're always trying to、um, have a healthy lifestyle.、Um, you know, many people recommend that hey, you know, you gotta boost your immune system just so that you know nothing's gonna happen to you. What would you say to that? They're absolutely right.、Mm -hmm. And everything has to be done in balance, even the bad things.、Um, but you know, that doesn't mean you will actually be fine. What we figured out is your immune system is tricked by the tumor. Mm -hmm. The tumor is like a terrorist. It makes itself invisible, so you can have a very strong immune system,、mm -hmm. but it cannot see the tumor. So, for example, assume there's a terrorist somewhere in LA. You I hate to imagine that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Or a bunch of terrorists. Right. There's plenty of police.、Mm -hmm. You do not need to hire more police. What you need is a picture of the terrorist、mm -hmm. and where to find the guy. Our drug is that picture and where to find the guy for the immune system,、mm -hmm. while the immune system is still strong. You see, the power is in you. The power is in me. We're alive.、Mm -hmm. That wor it works. But the tumor puts blinders on it. We take the blinders off, and suddenly it can work. That's the idea.、Mm -hmm. Um, I was reading some of the、uh, background of of your company, and I realized that、um, Cellside currently offers a、uh, few products that's targeting at cancer treatment. Can you,、um, you know, share some of the insight with us? They're really the most important one is the multi-kind, we call it.、Mm -hmm. It's many cytokines. Those are the substances that regulate your immune system.、Mm -hmm. um, so what we did is we made a copy of a healthy person's immune system. Which was a huge undertaking. It took ten years. It cost over one hundred million dollars. We built a full-scale manufacturing facility in Maryland.、Mm -hmm. We've never taken any shortcuts. This product has now almost reached the end of the last clinical trial before getting it to market.、Mm -hmm. And from the what we're seeing is it looks pretty good, like we'll be successful.、Mm -hmm. But we have to wait for the final results. We can talk about that some more.、Right. Um, If that works, then our friends and family in the future will not be getting surgery, radiation, chemo. They will get our product and surgery, radiation, chemo.、Mm -hmm. First, in head and neck cancer, which is the cancer from under your nose down to your clavicle, six percent of all cancers. But over time, it will be used in breast cancer, and melanoma, and cervical cancer. Because it's not a cancer product; it's an immune system product.、Mm -hmm. And do you need FDA to approve on that? Yes, we do,、mm -hmm. and which is, by the way, why these companies are valued so high afterwards.、Mm -hmm. Because it takes so long to get there, and so few cancer drugs actually improve your chance of living.、Mm -hmm. um, and the phase three study that we're running. It's the largest study ever done in head and neck cancer, which was one of the biggest cancers.、Um, The end point is improvement in overall survival. It's the gold standard. Everything is done to the highest standard 
24 countries, 100 centers, um, mm -hmm. three continents, a, everything is controlled, top notch, anyone involved. It's, you couldn't do it any better. But that is how you build a drug that changes the lives of thousands of thousands of people and also changes the lives of our shareholders because out of coming good, they can make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it sounds like um, Southside currently primarily just targeting on the uh, head and neck cancer. Why, why is that? Ed, you have to approve a drug for one indication mm -hmm. and then people will start trying it in other diseases. Most cancer drugs are approved in for one little thing, mm -hmm. but people use them all over. Why? Because imagine your oncologist. Most of the people in your care die. Mm -hmm. you, that you can't feel very successful. You want to do better. So you try anything new to see if you can potentially help some of those people who are going to die. Mm -hmm. That's why they use these drugs all over. And this is a disease that affects everybody. I don't care where you come from. Mm -hmm. If you're rich or you're poor, everybody gets cancer. Right. You're, if you're immune, you can be healthy. If your immune system doesn't see the cancer, it will kill you. Yeah, I think ex exactly just as you know, we were talking about earlier, you know, a lot of times you see people are you know, super healthy people, they're getting hit, hit by cancer. And you know, it's just very surprising. It seems like, you know, Although as much as we're trying to be healthy, but you know, cancer can hit you any day of the week. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So on a clinical side, how are you able to track the result though? You have to wait mm -hmm. for people to die. That's sad. This is, this is going to be upsetting for some people. Mm -hmm. In terminal cancer patients, patients who have failed everything, the surgery, radiation, chemo, they're not expected to live, so you're trying to extend their life. Mm -hmm. You have established studies that don't take that long. Mm -hmm. But for our patient population, we're doing something that has never been done. Our goal is to put the immune system drug first while your immune system is still healthy. Mm -hmm. Then use the surgery, radiation, chemo, which destroy your immune system. But we have to do it because it's standard of care. Mm -hmm. And we hope that that will cure people. In that study design, we have to wait for a certain number of people to die. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if our drug works, it will take longer to get to the market because it will take longer to get to that required number of deaths. Okay. So in terms of the uh, prevention, are there anything that you would like to share with our viewers? I'm not sure we can prevent. Mm -hmm. uh, just live your life. Try to be healthy. Don't do anything in excess. Mm -hmm. um, Try to be happy, I think that's a big one, obviously, but we hear that all the time in any case. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I think the best thing that we can do is try to increase the cure rate from the first cancer treatment. Right? Why do they give you surgery and then radiation and chemo? Why not su just surgery? Right. So if you can cut the tumor out, why would you worry? Mm -hmm. The problem is not the tumor. The problem is the tiny micrometastases around the tumor and in the lymph nodes, like would be here and head and neck cancer would be here, breast cancer would be here. If the cancer cells go into your lymph nodes, it's very bad for survival. Mm -hmm. But you cannot see the micrometastases. So they hope to kill them with radiation and chemo. Except radiation and chemo don't work that well either. Mm -hmm. So we feel that the immune system, while it's healthy, therefore before surgery, the immune system is the only way to find those tiny cells that you cannot see, mm -hmm. kill them, and hopefully cure people. Thank you, Mr. Kirsten. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be right back. Thank you so much. Mr. Kirsten, um, I know, you know, while you're trying to develop certain 
medication. I'm sure there are a lot of difficulties. Would you like to share with us? People think it's all about science. Right. And there are some ugly parts of science, mm -hmm. but the greatest difficulty very often is money. Mm -hmm. So I've raised over $400 million. Wow. We, are actually, we have an actively traded stock on the New York Stock Exchange. Our stock company is listed there under the stock symbol CVM, Charles Victor Mary. Mm -hmm. And essentially, what I have to do is I have to go around all the time and tell them of this new development. I have to tell people mm -hmm. because we've run this huge clinical trial, but people don't know us. Mm -hmm. We have a concept for treating cancer that if it works and it looks good, it looks like it's going to work, could change the lives of so of, of tens of hundreds of thousands of people. But you still, it's like marketing, it's like advertising. You have to go out there all the time because if you run out of money, mm -hmm. then, or you get forgotten, then you don't, don't make it to the finish line. Mm -hmm. Nice thing is we're almost at the finish line. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds like your development has been very successful. Am I right? You don't know until the very end, mm -hmm. right? In the end, we have to show that there's a certain level of increase in survival. Mm -hmm. If you have that in head and neck cancer, you should have no problems getting to market. And by the way, in, head and, in advanced primary head and neck cancer where we're dealing with uh, stages three and four, not mm -hmm. yet treated patients, mm -hmm. about 50-50 chance of survival at three years, the last FDA approval was, listen to this, 60 years ago, six zero. Mm -hmm. We think we've made all these great, great progress. 60 years of no progress. Mm -hmm. We still cut tongues out. We take breasts off. Where is the progress? It's very bizarre. We hope mm -hmm. to change that, you see. And it has to always come from little companies. It never comes, this kind of change never comes from big companies. Mm -hmm. So what's been going on with uh, Southside? Any uh, recent developments that you would like to share with our viewers? This gets a little complicated, but we've had some very nice indications that our study may be going very well. I have to say may be going well because we're blinded to the results. Mm -hmm. However, first question is, why don't you have the required 298 deaths yet? And they call it events because mm -hmm. they don't want to say death. Right. We should have had them last year. So the very fact that people are not dying in our study, mm -hmm. or not as quickly, is a good sign that the drug is working. By the way, in phase two studies, it increased sub uh, your survival, patient survival a lot by 33%. Mm -hmm. So maybe the little company is actually right. Mm -hmm. Maybe the drug really extends survival, which would obviously make this a huge deal. Then there was a review by five physicians whose job it is to review the study. They see everything. And they said, continue. Mm -hmm. Well, they have two choices. They can say, end the study, because it's not going to be successful. That means futile. Mm -hmm. Or they say, continue. When you're that close to the end, don't you think you have a pretty good idea if it's going to work or not? So I think that if it wasn't going to work, they would have said, end the study. Right. But they didn't. They said, continue. So there are a bunch of other things also. But if you put all of these things together, all factors point in the same direction, that's probably the way you're going to go. Mm -hmm. And for an investor, that's a big deal because you can make 50 times, 100 times your money if we're right. Mm -hmm. So that's why people have been noticing. OK. And we're now in 2019. Um, what are some of your goals or milestones in the uh, upcoming years? The terrible thing is we're waiting for people to die to get to the end of the study. Mm -hmm. But it is all with the goal of saving tens or hundreds of thousands of people. And they're going to die in any case, they're cancer patients. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we are actually there to help them. Mm -hmm. When we have that data, we hope to get rapid approval for this drug, mm -hmm. both in North America and, and Europe initially. But you know, we, we also, for example, in Taiwan, we did study, uh, the studies were involved um, all over the world. This study is designed to give us approval all over the world. And there are 650,000 head and neck cancer cases per year in, this, in the world. It's a large uh, cancer and large market. Mm -hmm. 
if anyone are interested in uh, multi-kind or you know the, the cancer treatment that um, you have been talking about, where should they go to get more information on that? Um, our website, mm -hmm. www.cellsci, that's C-E-L-S-C-I.com, C-E-L-S-C-I.com. Thank okay. you so much for asking. Okay. Perfect. Any um, final thoughts that you would like to share with our viewers? It's been a 30-year struggle. We mm -hmm. started when no one believed in the immune system. Now people love the immune system as a treatment for cancer. Mm -hmm. No one believed that you should treat before surgery. Now everybody agrees that you should treat before surgery. Mm -hmm. We're the only ones. We have made it through all kinds of challenges and difficulties. In every case, our data was checked out. We believe that that means that our data is solid. We mm -hmm. think that this will be a cancer drug that will change the way we treat cancer. We start with head and neck cancer, go to breast, melanoma, cervical, many other cancers. The goal is to give you a greater chance of living. I mean, isn't that what the whole thing is about? Right. So I have an amazing team who've been with me for 25 years. We've t never taken any shortcuts. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully we will be a 30-year overnight success. All right, wonderful. Um, I was reading about your background and I just couldn't help myself to notice that you actually used to work at a law office. What happened there? You know, how did the, the crossover occur? <laughs> well, I actually never wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm German, which is, by the way, where I have that natural medicine idea. Mm -hmm. um, it's part, and like, in, like in Chinese medicine, it's, and Germans are the same way. We, we have that same natural bend. Mm -hmm. um, but in Germany, we often go to law school as a training of the mind. Okay. So that was really the intention. My wife cannot understand it because she's a real lawyer. She says, why are you wasting all of that <laughs> education? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Kirsten, for thank sharing so much. so much good information with us. Um, 同时呢,